Okay, today I'm going to be crushing frozen oobleck. So, in a previous video, I crushed regular oobleck, um, and someone suggested I should freeze it, so I thought that was a good idea. So if you've never seen oobleck before, here's what oobleck is in the not frozen state. So oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid, and what that means is its viscosity is dependent on the shear rate. So when you shear it, it has a different viscosity than when you don't shear it. And in layman's terms, what that means is that it acts like a liquid. When it moves slowly, it acts like a solid when it moves quickly. So here when I move it fast, you can see it's kind of just this big lump. But then if I just let it relax, it looks just like a liquid. So it's really fun to play with. Hold it. If I move quick enough, I can hold it in my hand. And if I just let it relax, this becomes this liquid. Pretty cool. Okay, frozen oobleck crushed by a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Wow, that's holding together really well. Oh. So crushing. Wow. Okay, here it starts to ooze out. See if the press can melt it a little bit let it start oozing out. Whoa, <laughs> that feels weird. So yeah, it's still solid. So let's see if I hold it in my hands. It's weird, you can't really tell when it's melted because when you push on it, it still feels hard. So it looks like a lot of the powder stayed in the middle and the liquid got pushed out the outside. So frozen oobleck is even weirder to play with than regular oobleck. It acts more like a powder, but then when you warm it up, it's it liquidy. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Hydraulic Press Action. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit subscribe and like this video. Comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see get crushed next time. I read the comments and I look for good suggestions and you guys have a lot of good ideas. So, and also you can send me something that you'd like to see get crushed. You can, I have a P.O. box you can send it to. Look in the description for that P.O. box and I'll see you next time.